Hello, so I thought I would do this little video today, which is a little bit of a food orientated vlog. Um, I'm going to go through my grocery shopping, how we choose our meals for the week, um, then go and get our food, our toddler snacks and dinner ideas. Um, at the minute, Jake is home, so it's myself, Jake and Layla that are eating here every single week. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would share. Um, everything we do. <laughs> so the first thing that I do when I am choosing our meals for the week before I go food shopping is I just take a quick stock take of what is in the fridge. Um, I have this diary planner from Steph Pace Planners um, and I use the grocery list section um, and the meal planner to write down what we need and I plan out our meals each week. I have on my phone a list in my notes of a whole heap of dinner ideas. Um, and I usually will just go through them and choose meals for the week and then work from there with what I've always got and I just give them a little tick when we choose them for the week so I can always just refer back to it but yeah most of our meals are straight up based off what we still have in the fridge and what needs to be used and then I'll buy the extra ingredients that we need but yeah that's how we start off so I'm going to go ahead and write down everything I need to. <laughs> Alright, so this is generally all I write down. I have our meals for the week. We had pumpkin soup last night, dinner at mum's house tonight, um, spaghetti, egg and bacon pie, tacos or burgers, similar ingredients, silver side and vegetables and fried rice. So that's our menu for the week. Um, and then I just list down a few things that I need. Usually with fruit and vegetables, I will just grab whatever's on special, whatever's on sale, whatever we need. Um, and if there's anything like in particular that I don't usually grab, I write it down um, and then with snacks I just write down whatever I'm going to cook for Layla for the week um, or make as her little special snacks so obviously we've got scrolls and yogurt buttons we have those ingredients at home but I just refer back to this during the week so that I don't end up buying stuff out and then this little section down the bottom is household items that we need only laundry powder that I can think of at the minute but yeah that's that last thing is I just make sure I grab these little reusable bags these ones are just for like your fruit and veg or whatever I got them from one small step store because they were really affordable and I wash them every week and they still come up in really great condition I've had them for maybe like eight months now but yeah I will tag their little store down the bottom so you can check them out if you wanted to but it's not sponsored <laughs> This is everything that I got. I saved you guys the drama. Usually I just go shopping at Coles, but I went to the fruit shop and then I went to Aldi and then I had to still go to Coles because there was a few products I still couldn't get. But it ended up costing about the same amount as it does just shopping in one place. So it'd be a lot easier to just go shopping at Coles. But yes, this is everything I got. This is all of our fruit and veg for the week. Um, cucumber, some mandarins, um, watermelon, avos, lettuce, got some spring onion, some kale. Then for meats, I got a silver side and some chicken. We already had some beef mince in the fridge for the tacos and the um, burgers or yeah, whatever we end up doing. Um, and then I'll use one half of that chicken and the other half of the chicken I'll freeze and that will go into a next week meal um, and the silver side obviously you get leftovers from that as well because there's only three of us or well, two and a half and yeah and then just got some odd little snacks and things for the cupboard some Nutrigrain for breakfast Layla eats this I eat this Jake eats this taco kit um, yeah so most of the products that we got uh, I had to get some laundry detergent as well from Coles, but everything that we got ended up costing about $145, $150, which is about the exact same amount as is just shopping at Coles. Also, I bought disposable nappies. Um, this is an expense that we only have to pay for every like two months because Layla just uses one of these overnight. Um, I have been using the reusable ones for her overnight sometimes, but she just um, is taking her nappy off at the minute and these ones are easier to put back on her when she's gone to sleep. So that's that cost isn't usually 
in our weekly spend. Okay, so this is our little restock. Obviously got all of our fruit and veggies back in. Crisp is full. about to get started on dinner for tonight wow lighting um tonight's dinner is just a mega pie so easy and so simple and we always have leftovers we also had leftovers from last night's spaghetti um that haven't been eaten because we were out today so <laughs> they are still in the fridge i can't really show you um there it is so we've still got that but i'm gonna make the egg and bacon pie anyway because it will probably get eaten tomorrow i was planning to do a few snack foods toddler snack foods for layla today but time got ahead of us and i didn't get around to it so i'm gonna cook them tomorrow as well i think i'm gonna make um raspberry and white chocolate muffins some yogurt biscuits and some cheesy vegemite scrolls so yeah but i'll show you this is all that you need for egg and bacon pie so I've got two sheets of puff pastry out. You need six eggs, an onion, and some of these bacon style pieces. Um, apart from buying new eggs this week, we didn't actually have to buy anything else for this meal. So it's a really easy one that's just already, usually you have the ingredients with you. So yeah, I'll show you it when it's done. afternoon and I'm finally getting around to making some snacks for us which is probably a good thing that it's getting done at this time because it means that we won't splurge out and get takeaway um, over the weekend we've also got lots of house renovations going on at the minute so we're home a lot and eating a lot so yeah I'm gonna whip up the raspberry and white chop chip muffins and I'm also going to make a couple of variations of some scrolls. Um, Layla loves both of these. And then also going to make some yogurt buttons for her, which is just frozen yogurt in little buttons on a sheet of baking paper. Um, yeah, so I'll show you. All right, these are my puff pastry sheets. Just waiting for them to defrost. Um, I'm going to make Vegemite and cheese. Oh, it's not going to focus. There we go. And then I have the bacon left over from our egg and bacon pie and also some tomato paste from spaghetti um so i'm going to make them into pizza scrolls and then i've got all of our stuff here for raspberry white chalk muffins so i'm going to whip them up while i wait for that to defrost Muffins are done and in the oven. Now I'm going to make the scrolls. My puff pastry has defrosted. I've got two sheets. I'm going to start with veggie muffin.
I ended up doing the Vegemite and cheese ones and then I was going to make these ones into ropes but I ended up just using the tomato paste, some bacon from the egg and bacon pie leftover and parmesan cheese and did them into rolls as well. So yeah, even the little one there looks a bit funky but I'll bake these up. Alright, these are the finished muffins. They look good. I'm going to pop these ones into the container to eat and probably have one now, give one to Layla now and I might just freeze two of them because I don't have any more containers at the minute and I just popped the scrolls into the oven. Wow, that is my child. Hey, no. Okay, Saturday night dinner. We have some chicken rice bowl. I actually forgot to get meat out to defrost, so this is a substitute dinner. But it come out looking pretty good. Jake's, mine, and Layla's. So tonight would be our fifth night of dinners. I'm cooking fried rice, I've got the chicken out defrosting, and I'm due to go grocery shopping tomorrow. This is the only day I have to be able to edit this video though, so I'm going to have to leave you hanging on what our fried rice looks like, but I'm sure you can imagine, I'm sure we've all eaten fried rice. But yes, that is our little week of dinners and a couple of little toddler snack ideas. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>